In this class, we'll begin to design strategies for solving the problem of homelessness. We'll look at it in three pieces, a general approach, a theory of change, and an intended impact statement. The general approach is how are you going to think generally or broadly about solving the problem of homelessness in your city? There are many different approaches. The theory of change is the set of causal links uh, or the empirical theory underlying that approach. That is, how are you going to move from one step to another to another to achieve your outcomes? And then finally, the intended impact statement is going to be a description with some specificity about what outcomes you want to achieve. There are many possible approaches to solving the problem of homelessness in your city. The question is, how are you going to decide which ones to take? There are two basic ways of thinking about this. The first one is to do brainstorming based on your and your colleagues' knowledge of your own city and its environment. The second is to learn what others have done elsewhere and what has succeeded and what has failed. Let's talk first about brainstorming. You'll recall in the last class, when we were trying to understand what the problem was, we asked why, 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 until we got to the root of the problem. In order to think about possible solutions, we now say how, 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 or really how might we solve the problem? How might we, how might we? This is something which you could engage in all by yourself, but the brainstorming with a group of people tends to be a much more effective way of doing it. So you get together with a group of people and you, what you really want to do is let your minds and tongues and pens be as free as possible. What's important is to put lots of ideas on the table. Quantity matters more than quality. Don't criticize anybody's suggestion, but build on it. It's okay to have some intentionally silly and far out ideas, even obnoxious ideas, because they may lead to good thoughts and make it fun. So let's focus first on a set of how might we's focused on the plight of the homeless people themselves. Here are some of the ideas that might come up in the brainstorming session. Give them public jobs like cleaning the sidewalks and pay them a living wage. Help people at risk of being homeless avoid actually becoming homeless. Provide permanent supportive housing. Provide transitional housing. Provide emergency shelters provide on-the-street health services, provide them with food, provide them with clothing, provide them with toilets and showers, give them bus tickets to places with better climates or better public services than our city can afford, provide job training and placement services for the homeless, increase minimum wages, provide incentives or penalties to induce their relatives to take care of them. If some of these ideas seem impractical or even offensive, that's the nature of brainstorming. That's actually its positive elements, to put out as many ideas as possible and then eventually winnow them down to choose several to pursue when we're developing a strategy. Our philanthropists are also concerned with the cost that homelessness imposes on others, on other residents, businesses, and taxpayers. So suppose we did some how might we's to solve that problem. Let's look at what we might come up with. Make it a crime to loiter or sleep on the streets and arrest people who do. Remove and destroy the personal possessions of homeless people found in the street. Offer homeless people bus tickets and financial incentives to leave the city. We're going to assume that for various reasons, our philanthropists have decided not to tackle the cost to the city and other residents as an independent problem but rather to try to solve that problem by solving the problem of homelessness itself. And that's what we're going to focus on for the rest of this course. Your brainstorming has led to a number of possible solutions, but you are not the first people to try to address this problem. In fact, there's a huge amount of information available on the internet and elsewhere about cities that have tried to address the problem of homelessness, where they have succeeded, where they have failed, what are considered best practices in the area the chances are that you're going to want to retain an organization or individual consultant, a social scientist that has real expertise on the subject of homelessness, to help translate what has worked elsewhere uh, to your own city. Based on the brainstorming and on your social science research, you now have a number of possible strategies for dealing with homelessness in your city. How are you going to decide among them? Consider these criteria. 
How well does it fit the philanthropist's values? How likely will it meet their goals? How likely will it meet the beneficiary's needs? How likely is it to succeed? What resources will it require? Are they within the organization's capacity acting alone or with others? Are the costs worth the benefits that they are likely to create? And in what time frame can you achieve the goal? 